Hi, my name is Emily. Welcome to my garden. It's the place where dreams are cultivated. Today I have a wonderful show planned for you. It's unbelievable. All about composting and recycling and some creative ways of doing so. See you in a moment. Gabe, let me ask you a question now. What? Have you ever thought about having a farm? No. You haven't? How about if we did have a little farm, let's use our imagination. Can you hold this for me? Sure. Yeah. How about if we had a worm farm? <laughs> <laughs> now, worm farming's all the rage. If you go online, of course, you can find out how to make your own worm farm. These are Australian garden worms, and they're really not suitable for the purpose. I'm standing in Frank Ferrara's backyard to demonstrate some home composting methods with you today. Hi, Frank. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Thank, you for, Thank you for allowing me to come to your house today. Yeah. Frank, how old are you? What? How old are you? 97, only 97, about the night. Yeah. And the turning's <laughs> important, right, Frank? Oh, the turning is the most important part. If you don't turn it, it, it won't compost very good. No, it'll uh, compact, won't it? As a rule, uh, I used, but used to maybe, maybe average about every three weeks, I turn the whole pile over, I come out here. And, and uh, you still do this yourself, don't oh, you? Oh, yeah, yeah. I want to prove it to yeah. the folks at home. Let me see you turn that pile, Frank. Oh, this pile right here. That pile. 97, I'll tell you what, I hope the heck I'm doing that at 97. I'm in Jay Gafford's backyard. Jay is an artist. He is the founder, actually it's his hobby, of Jay's Garden Art. You see, he recycles trash into beautiful works of art. We have a little poem for you. Ready? Jay's Garden Art. Some of it's painted. Some of it's not. Put it in the garden. Let it rot. Jay's Garden Art. <laughs> I never uh, throw out my boots. They just get recycled. Don't throw it out, plant it. Doing your garden decorating and your planting, there are different ways that you can do so. You have to prep this stuff. If you're using a wire basket, you might want to line it with burlap. The other way that you can do this is by purchasing some sphagnum moss. Now, generally you get it in blocks. I was fortunate enough to find, I guess it's new on the market, it's first I'd seen of it, a rectangular compressed piece of sphagnum moss. You just throw it in water so it's very um, compact. Let it soak, it doesn't take long for it to, to come to uh, fruition. And then what you're gonna do is grab it from your bucket, squeeze it out, and form it to whatever piece you're using. What I do like to do is let it sun bake so that it will be compressed once more and I have a much more firm foundation for my planting. This particular one I'm gonna use uh, for an herbal flavor with the holidays coming up. I decided to do a sage basket. Be nice on the table around Thanksgiving, don't you think? Great idea. Cheese graters, don't throw them out. I'm not gonna make you a lasagna from it. It's very rusty, but as you can see, if you take and put a tea light underneath with a protective piece, perhaps add a little bit of ribbon, you also have something nice for November, uh, the winter months. It just gives a homey atmosphere for your table and it's something that glows in the dark because you have created a lantern from this piece. Tra la la, me a thrill to wake up in the morning